So hello and welcome to our VidIQ course. This, this will be our first official lecture and in this lecture I'm going to be covering actual VidIQ whatever uh, new features will be added by installing VidIQ extension or by purchasing VidIQ uh, subscription. So first things first is that you need to understand that in order to, of course, access the VidIQ on all its features and all its glory, you need to install the VidIQ extension. You, it will be available on the website. By the way, I will have this uh, green uh, bar right here, so we will be able to see everything. And in order to install VidIQ extension, you need to go to vidIQ.com. Uh, uh, when you go there, it will be available right there as an extension. And you can install VidIQ extension only on Google Chrome officially and on Mozilla Firefox. Unfortunately, uh, no other browsers will be allowed to install vidIQ with one exception is it's opera and well, I'm, I'm, in my case i'm using opera gx actually in this course and i can actually use vidIQ here because opera gx allows you to install google chrome extensions that's why you are going to see this one so you can actually install vidIQ on google chrome on mozilla firefox and on opera gx or regular version doesn't matter you can install uh, them both this is first thing that you will see now second is that you can install of course the free version of vidIQ and it will be perfectly fine you're going to see majority of the things that we'll be doing here with a free version however uh, i in i myself in this course will be using the pro version of vidIQ which is the paid version but i got you here as well if you want to see how actually pro version actually works and whether it is for you or not go to the bonus lecture go to the very 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 last lecture of this course it's going to be named bonus and there you can grab 30 day free trial of any vidIQ license you can just go check them test them out if you want and cancel them if you wish to do so again i'm going to be using pro license the trial actually allows you to choose both pro and boost license I highly suggest you to get used to a pro license and don't go to the boost license because yeah in some case scenario you might want to cancel it and you might yeah, and you might forget it and you don't want to be charged like $30 or something like that it's better to be charged $7 if something will go wrong so go and get pro license not boost go and get pro license I think I can show you to right here I'm gonna press upgrade right here yes this is the pro license that you're gonna get don't get boost and especially don't get boost plus you don't want to go pay for five hundred dollars for this one go and get pro license right here I'm, I'm actually going to be showing you this is pro license this is pro license don't get anything else do not get boost license or do not get boost license no boost license and especially no boost plus i know it looks like a kid uh, doodling here and there but yeah don't get the boost license only get pro license let me just circle it a bit better only get pro license because yeah <laughs> just it's it's not worth it trust me go grab the free trial and then come back to this lecture and now let's assume that you already have done it and what you will be seeing when you install it so first things first you're gonna see changes in th of three rather four different spots oh you're gonna see as changes in three different spots but you can access tools in fourth one as well first is your youtube home page when you go to youtube home page some things might look a bit different first things first that you will be seeing is this analytics on the top bar right here I'm, I'm gonna be covering something with my face but still this is what you're going to be seeing it will show you some of the real-time analytics that you can access through the youtube studio page you're gonna see the last 60 minute views uh right here right here you're gonna see the last 48 hour views right here you're gonna see the last 48 hours for youtube shorts only right here and you're gonna see the last seven day views you're gonna see the last seven day watch time rather in a watch minutes and you're going to see your subscriber number and of course you're going to see as well the average minutes watched right here these are all extremely powerful extremely useful information and the information that you are going to check very often if you are a youtuber anyway so now you can actually see it while you're browsing youtube without actually going to an analytics also we're going to be have access to this button right here this is actually a button and you're going to see you're going to have a shortcuts to a bunch of different tools don't worry about that i actually never use these buttons but you can actually do that don't worry i'm going to explain what those those buttons do because they're duplicated in a bunch of other places speaking of other places they're all duplicated in the left bar right here you're going to see daily ideas keyword inspector competitors trend alerts most viewed channel audit achievements and vidiq academy this is what you're going to be seeing right here as well 
One more addition that you are going to be seeing is this right here, this green number, percentage numbers uh, with the videos. And these numbers will actually uh, display like to dislike ratios on every single video. Now here you will see how many likes and how many dislikes these videos are getting percentage wise, meaning that how many uh, the likes were compared to entire number of likes and dislikes so higher percentages closer to higher hand closer to the 100 percent it is that means that there is almost every one of these engagements are actually like so this is what you're gonna see and as you scroll down right here this is what you're gonna see like in my case in my my home page actually has majority of the highly liked videos but except for this one this one has 95 percent that means that it got actually some dislikes right here 391 dislikes but it's overall pretty liked video so this is what you're going to be seeing these are major changes in a youtube homepage. however you're going to see a bunch of other uh, changes as well if you go and search for something special for search videos uh yeah, especially for the videos and i actually will search for this keyword right here affinity versus adobe 2021 because i have one of the videos prepared about that and when you open it you are what you're going to see right here and you're going to see a panel and let me just change the position of my face so you would be able to see this a bit better okay now you will be able to see this a bit better i'm not going to be covering the uh, a lot of important panels you will be able to see a lot of info about the keyword that you're actually looking for like in my case it's affinity versus adobe and you're going to see the highest number of views on the top videos uh there's average views for the videos every subscribers for the channels that are posting these videos and added in the last seven days meaning that how many of your top 20 videos it's actually, it's actually measuring from top 20 videos how many of the top 20 videos you are uh, how many how many of the top 20 videos actually has been uploaded in the last seven days this is important as well and then you're gonna see the cc's meaning that how many videos have closed captions three of the 20 videos only have the closed captions average age is three years that means that majority of those videos are actually pretty old except for mine mine is pretty young uh then times in the title mean that how many times affinity versus adobe have been used in a title and it says only one and i am the one that actually use only this in title times in a description i mean that how many videos actually using this uh the keyword in description one of them is me of course and the top creator is band designs like I, I don't know like why this out oh, there yeah, this one this one is top creator for this video because i think it has uh, this guy has a few videos yeah it's actually the second one actually the third one that's why it's one of the, well, he's one of the most more top creators. Now you're gonna see an overall score. If you hover this right here, you're gonna actually see the overall score determined. You're gonna see that, that the overall score is determined to help gauge the, how effective the keyword would be in your video optimization efforts. Have one million plus subscriber channel, you might uh, be able to break into highly competitive search uh, terms, but if you are a smaller ch channel, it's better to stay focused on the mid-range search terms with a low competition. It says exactly what it is. It is telling you like very correctly, mean that uh, your channel size actually determines how easy it will be to actually break the scores. And it also shows you the volume, meaning that how uh, people are actually looking for it. In this case, it's average volume. Uh, there are not a lot of people are looking for it and not a very little people are looking for it. The competition, uh, in this case, it's low because not a lot of people are creating videos about this. The top channels with this search term and look at this, look at who it is right here. One of them is me. You're gonna see the top uh, top related opportunities, meaning that the, the related keywords that are actually highly uh, opportune for a lot of people for, to look for and to create a videos about. This is very important. And one more addition that you're going to see in the search terms is you're gonna enable uh, inline keywords and you're gonna see all the tags right here that have been used in the videos and you can even copy this right here we can just press this one and copy this one this is available for vidaq pro so if you have uh, you used uh the uh, link in the bonus lecture you're going to be able to see this one as well and this is extremely important and yeah this only shows the tags this is not uh, the, this is not correct it's not it's not show keywords it shows tags and we're going to talk about tags and keywords in one of the future lectures next change that you're going to see is in your channel dashboard you're going to see the similar uh, right here actually i need to enable all of this to be able to see all of this right here you're going to see similar thing right here and i'm going to show you one additional thing that i need to, to change my position for and it is available in the content itself when you're going to press content you're going to see this button will appear and this button will appear right here this one 
and this one again like you should show you this button will appear right here and uh, you don't see it because it, it will appear somewhere right here let me just show you right here yeah that's that's the button and when you press this one you're gonna see some additional features like csv export uh, which you probably won't use a lot you uh, you're gonna see also mass edit videos which you will use a lot mass mass edit um, cards and end screens which you might use a lot and description campaigns you which you might use a lot this is this uh, covers the mass editing of the videos and here you can uh, edit or add some features locally like copy cards copy end screens advanced embed if you have like website and you want to embed these videos and thumbnail editor which is pretty useful and pretty powerful that we're going to be covering in one of the future lectures and last but not least here on youtube is you're going to see a bunch of additional things on the left side it's the same thing that you're going to see on the home page right here but here it's it actually makes more sense to be here than on youtube homepage. and one of my favorite features that i want to show you right here right now is of course achievements it actually shows you what type of achievements that you have right here meaning that how many views you can get and it will of course and it will also project how and it will also project how many views you might actually get in the future and as you can see on the left side you have all the features that you want to use in your videos this is insanely powerful and insanely useful and a uh, majority of the features that you will be seeing here will be also available right here but not all of them will be actually available on vidaq.com and i'm not going to be even covering uh, everything on vidaq.com because more things you will be seeing right here than it will be in vidaq.com and you'll be you will most likely spend more time here right here on youtube uh, then you're going to spend more time uh, then you're going to spend on vidaq However, there is one distinction that you need to understand and this will actually be very helpful for you. When you are using uh, the VidIQ extension here on the YouTube homepage or YouTube studio, especially on YouTube studio, your computer will be using a lot of resources because this uh, extension in conjunction with the YouTube studio or in a browser is pretty difficult to run, pretty RAM intensive and pretty CPU intensive. And sometimes it might be a bit difficult uh, on the weaker computers. For that reason, if you're using, for example, keyword research, I highly suggest you to go to vidaq.com and do keyword research there and copy it from here because this website is much easier to run than the keyword inspector or the keyword uh, tool on the YouTube itself. This is much easier to run right here. For all, this is all that you need to know about where the tools are located on VidIQ. It's not difficult. A lot of tools are duplicated. For example, the tools that are here available uh, right here will be available right here as well and will be available right here as well and will be available right here and here and here, except for these tools because these tools only can be available in uh, the content section. And of course, you're going to see some of more additional tools within the videos themselves let me just show it real quick for you to understand how they actually work i'm gonna edit uh, this video right here i'm gonna see a bit more features right here for example you're gonna see best time to publish like right under my face right here you can go down and you can also see uh the you can also create a thumbnail from right here you can also see your keyword scores right here which is uh, not very useful but it actually helps you in some way you can scroll down you can go in tags you can actually see where you rank in tags uh you can also go down and you can actually it, it will actually allow you to use the recommended tags if you have of course pro and boost license and that's that's basically it and you can access the same things right on the left side if you want some tools used and not all tools used this is what you are going to see and overall tools of vidaq is pretty easy to find don't worry i'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about all of these tools and how to actually use them this is just an overview to see where all those features are located for you to not be difficult to find them when you are going to need them and for you to realize what actually changed when you installed vidaq because for some people they don't even realize where these changes will occur in. and now you know that so in the next lecture we're going to be covering licenses because uh yeah a lot of people are actually interested in the different vidaq licenses and which one to choose again i'm giving preference to pro license but in the next lecture i'm actually be telling you why the pro license is the best for vidaq so i'm gonna see you in the next lecture see you there
So welcome to the bonus lecture and in this lecture, as promised, I'm gonna show you how we can actually gain one free month of vidIQ Pro or Boost. So how we can actually get free month of vidIQ? So all you actually need to do is go through the link and the resources of this lecture and that's basically it. It will show you exactly what you will need to do in order to claim this free month. There is not much to do there. Just click the link. Everything is already done for you. You will just click the link in the resources and it will show you how you can actually claim free 30 days of vidIQ. By the way, this allows you to claim both pro license and boost license. However, I highly suggest you, I highly, highly, highly suggest you to go for a pro license. Do not go for the boost license Be because whether you will decide to continue after the 30 day trials, trust me, pro license is much, much, much more valuable than boost licenses. In my opinion, boost license is complete waste of money if you cannot afford it. So I hope this will be helpful. If you haven't completed the course yet, please complete the course because you're going to learn a bunch of new things and if you have completed, well, congratulations. This will be it from me. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and hope to see you in the future lectures on in our future courses. See you and take care.